Hey, Prince Bosco here with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about um, some more about the Gladicraft mod. Uh, it's a huge mod, and last time I covered how to get into space, and now I am in space. You can see Earth and the moon, and I bought a space station, which last time we just figured out how to. And when you buy a space station, you'll just have like a basic little um, place. And obviously this is not what it'll look like. I customized it completely but you can figure out for yourself what it'll look like if you want but basically it'll just have like a little landing pad and a little control center and that's it and and you'll land here and your rocket will be in like a chest or something I, I forget but you'll get your rocket back don't worry um so yeah I'm going to show you in this episode how to oxygenize your space station because uh, that's very important it doesn't have to be a space station you can use these tactics on the moon or on mars like a, as a little base or something and but this is basically how to oxygenize and i i'm going to do a whole video just based on this because it is actually quite complicated and i can see how a lot of people could have trouble with this in fact i have a a little trouble with this myself so you'll notice there so this is pretty, I just, this is a weird thing. I really don't know. It's just kind of for decoration, but it's just a, yeah. It has invisible blocks. I don't know, but whatever. Yeah. So I kind of customized it, and you, you can see I used uh, glowstone torches because they work without oxygen. And yeah, so we're gonna go over into this room, and all oh, yeah. There's only chests in here, but these chests hold the key to what we're going to do. So first off, what you're going to want to do for your base is you're going to want to make sure it's completely secure. And in order to make sure it's completely secure, you got to put either walls around it, like completely walls all around, or these airlocks. Um, as you can tell, what I did here is I put two airlocks and you walk between them. And so yeah. So I'm actually going to start off by showing you how to create an airlock. So what you're going to need is you're going to need an airlock controller. And to make the airlock controller, you're going to need compressed steel compressed meteoric iron now of course, I haven't shown this yet but since I'm doing this about oxygen I am going to let these slide you don't if you probably won't know what these are if you are watching this and you have like no clue what's going on but I will show this when I get to um, it, it might be next video or two videos from now but you will when you when I do finally talk about it you will uh, know anyway so and then you'll need a basic wafer and you'll get an airlock controller and then you'll need the airlock frame, which requires compressed aluminum, compressed steel, and an oxygen concentrator. And if you don't know how to make an oxygen concentrator, I did show it in the last video, but I'm going to be nice and just show you anyways. And yeah, so that's basically it. And you'll get four. And since it's been creative, it doesn't matter. So um, I have a little spot over here. I'm just going to show you how to properly construct it so that it works. It doesn't really matter where you put your airlock con um, controller, but I usually like to put it at the bottom here. Um, you got to make sure it's a complete frame, um, basically. I don't know, my frame's kind of weird looking, but you got to make sure it's a, it's a complete frame like so. And I, you know, like it's not working. Well, that's because you got to do some settings here. See, it's my airlock controller. Um, you can see it opens on a redstone signal players within whatever meter so I'm gonna set it to players within whatever meter or you can even set it to only a certain player can enter so like you say I don't know like I am the only one who can I wonder if I can put someone else as it let's say hi is the only one who can enter I can't look I can't enter anymore because only a player named hi can enter and that's stupid so let's turn that off Invert selection. I don't. I don't really know what this means. These two, I don't really think matter. But yeah, these are the main ones because you can make it open with like a redstone signal, which I can see how that's useful. So basically, I like to set it to just like one meter. You can set it to however long you want it, far away. But I like to setting it to one meter. And as you can tell, it opens and closes, and it completely seals it. And look, it's blast proof. Yeah, it's all good. So, uh, moving on to this. Um, this is basically how to... 
One sec, I'm just emptying my inventory. It's filled with random junk. Well, this isn't random junk, but it's junk. So, now that you have it all secure, you're going to have to learn how to actually seal it. Well, there's two ways you can oxygenate an area. You can either seal it, or you can just create a bubble. But I'm going to show how to seal it first. So you're going to need is an oxygen sealer. And for that, you're going to need compressed aluminum, compressed steel, oxygen vent, oxygen fan. And it'll give you one oxygen sealer. And I'm just going to grab this infinite battery. You need an oxygen pipe. Doesn't matter. You at least need one oxygen pipe. And an oxygen collector. You need compressed steel, tin canister, oxygen fan, compressed aluminum, oxygen concentrator, and oxygen vent. I did show this the card from three last time, but... You might have forgot, but you also need leaves. It doesn't have to be oak leaves, but I'm just gonna take these. Um, yeah, but you will need to have leaves for this to work. And then, yeah, I'll show the oxygen for everything later. So, what you gotta have to do is you're gonna have to put down your, uh, let's just put it here, oxygen collector, and you know you put your power in, and it's just not enough leaf blocks. So you're gonna have to provide it with leaf blocks, and you're like, oh, here we go. Well, no, you need to actually add a lot of leaf locked onto this thing. I'm not sure how many, but I would just try to fill up all around it. Like that. See, and it's collecting oxygen. One second. I need something. There we go. Trust me, a wrench is going to come in handy. Pretty sure that's the right way? No? Okay. So that's filling up right now. I'm going to wait till it fills up a bit more. The more leaves you put, the better it is. Anyway, so once that's filling up, you can, you know, do whatever you want with this thing. Um, but then you'll need to put down your oxygen sealer. And all you gotta do is just put in a battery source, and it'll start charging. And oxygen will start flowing in from the oxygen collector that you have so smartly put in the corner of a room. So let's wait. <clears throat> for that and then all you gotta do is just press enable seal and <laughs> this area is now secure see I'm not dying I'm walking around I'm living for some reason they say that all you need is oxygen to make the torches uh, run but for some reason the torches I find don't work even with an oxygen seal I don't know if that's imp that's supposed to be like that or I don't know as you can tell, I can walk around out here, and I'm fine. It's all sealed. I'm not going to die. So that, in my opinion, is the best way um, to get oxygen into an area because it's so easily controlled, and it seals the whole area, you know. It's very convenient, and definitely I would recommend doing that way over any other way. Um, so, oh yeah, so I guess I'll show the bubble distributor, and I kind of did need that collector. Um, so that's, I don't know why I struggled with that. But, okay, yep, yeah, I'm gonna get some time. Okay, so let's fill all this back up, collecting this. This way is more, um, open. It do, you don't need to have a sealed area for the bubble distributor to work. Which I guess is useful if you are trying to just have oxygenated area outside or something. Um, we'll need some batteries. So let's grab some of these. Okay, so not enough power. Shove that in there and start collecting. You shove that in there. And the oxygen, and you can tell there's this little bubble popping out. Well, this bubble is oxygen dated, dated, dated. The day to day did. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but see this bubble. You go in this bubble, and you will be fine. I'll even prove it. This, in my opinion, is an easier way because you don't need to have the area sealed. But the sealing way works better. See if I like. Oh, I can't show you anymore. But the more leaves you have, the bigger the bubble will be. I'm not dying because the area is sealed, anyways. So 
So that's how the bubble basically works. That's my demonstration. It's a bubble. I don't know. Ah. Anyway, so those are the two ways you can oxygenize an area. It doesn't seem as complicated, really, but it can. It was. It can get kind of complicated, really. If you don't know what you're doing, it can easily become overwhelming. So, then we have an oxygen detector, which doesn't really do all that much, except it, it, it emits a redstone signal if there's oxygen in the area. So, I don't know if this is necessarily useful, unless you want like an infinite power source as long as you have like, oxygen. But the redstone torch kind of like does the same thing, so I don't really know. But I don't know if you like redstone, you need something to be activated when there's oxygen or not. I guess it makes sense, really. But whatever, it's just it's there if you want to use it. And if you want to know? Damn, I got rid of it. Ah, uh, yes, you can find everything. If you want to know how to craft it, it's red, two redstone, compressed aluminum, basic wafer, oxygen vent, and compressed steel, and you've got one. Oxygen detector, which I don't see too much of a point in, but if you like redstone, it's fine. Um, then there's an oxygen storage module, which I don't 100% know how it works, but if it, I'm guessing it, you know, like it stores oxygen, but I don't know how to get oxygen into it. And I couldn't figure it out, but I don't see too much of a point of it anyway, because I never needed to use it in, you know, oxygen using oxygen to my advantage. So I don't really see too much of a point of it. But if you know what it does, or you um, do want to know like how to craft it, well, you'll just need some oxygen tanks, heavy oxygen tanks, press steel. So yeah, but I like I said, I've never found a point in having it, but. It's just me. Now this stuff um, isn't 100% needed for oxygen, but you know it's something to do with oxygen and it's something useful. And basically, what it is, it's heavy sealable heavy aluminum wire, sealable aluminum wire, and sealable oxygen pipe. And basically, you like say you want to put something in the wall, and you see how this doesn't make it sealed anymore. You just put that there, and it seals it, and you can use it as power. So, um, basically, you know, it's just heavy aluminum and oxygen, and you can just two to ten decorated blocks and heavy, and then two ten aluminum, and two ten and oxygen, and basically you can just use these as normal pipes, except you can put them in the walls, so you don't have to, so you know, they can be out of sight, out of mind. So, yeah, basically that's all wrapped up. This episode with was like this part was much faster and shorter than the other one but that's because um, there's a lot less to talk about with oxygen really I, I just wanted to show you guys how you can oxygenate an area using either the bubble way or uh, the other way and currently uh, this is the base I told you about but this, this is just like the little thing that I can't figure out what it is but probably just decoration so next part, I will be explaining stuff about the moon. So yeah. Anyways, guys. See ya. Stay awesome.